This is Casey. Hi, Casey. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, from what little I've been able to take in, there's like a, a desire to increase CO2 in the body. And there's some pieces that I'm unclear about is A, there's some bit that mentions pH changes, and B, how that actually happens physiologically. Like why, why does, uh, from what I can take away generically, slower and longer held breathing lead to greater pH uh, levels? So I'll give you a brief, brief answer, and I have a feeling that Fred um, could add to my answer or could answer better than me this question. So, <clears throat> uh, Dr. Buteyko discovered that in most modern people, the level of CO2 in the lungs is actually significantly lower than its medical norm. When that level is lower, everything in the body goes, goes off to a certain degree. And first of all, it, uh, it um, affects pH balance. Okay, so in order to have perfect pH balance, it's, it's really important to have the level of CO2 as close to the medical norm as possible. Now, um, I did an interview with Dr. Ira Pakman, the American doctor, on, uh, partially on this topic. And you can find my interview with him in my Breeze to Heal book or on our website in the section which is called uh, Natural Healing 4. And the next button is Hyperventilation, the natural healing, for, natural healing for Hyperventilation. And you will see there that Dr. Pakman answered this question in details, like exactly what happens when we overbreathe and why consuming less air improves uh, pH balance. Fred, would you like to add? Sure, well, the question that I understood was, how do we know if the CO2 level affects the pH in our blood? Is that correct? Yes. Well, it's not something that uh, Dr. Buteko even discovered. That's something that is uh, kind of like medically known. Uh, for example, in the hospital that I work, that's, we actually use that kind of data to decide how to treat our patients. We take blood from a patient and put it into a machine, and that machine gives us three key uh, which we call blood gases or blood gas levels, the pH, the CO2, and the oxygen. And we use that information to make changes on, say, like a ventilator, a life-threatening, a life-support uh, life machine for, for patients. So, and it works that the higher your CO2 level is in your blood, the lower the pH. It just works that way. Um, and the lower... Your, the pH in your blood, the higher the uh, pH level will be. And so we use that information just to treat patients. So from a medical standpoint, it's, that's, that's uh, accurate. 